Well, there are a number of things that are at play here. So Airbnb's first generation, the first generation of home sharing was really about an extra bedroom uh, or a sofa on so in somebody's house. That's a, a, not the kind of experience that we necessarily want to deliver. Uh, the business was illegal when it started, uh, and it still is illegal in some markets. So we couldn't have participated in a business that was violating law. I think for an established company to do that is uh, quite risky. Uh, but the other thing is we have seen that increasingly people are looking for places where groups can stay. Think about a family group or think about a, a, a college reunion or a bridesmaids weekend, whatever it is. Uh, and and uh, there are whole homes that we think we can put on our site which are quite different from a hotel room. Uh, and we end up with something which is curated, which has service attributes to it, which has got design function to it, uh, has got key delivery. So you end up with something curated with services more like a hotel platform. And we think that's a space where our customer, uh, we can deliver real value to our customer. As you push into this new space, Marriott already has over 30 hotel brands. One clear underperformer has been Sheraton. What does Marriott do with this brand? Do you spend money to re revitalize it or do you sell it off? Well, we're not going to sell it off. Uh, Sheraton was a major part of the Starwood uh, platform. 45% of their all, all of their revenues came from Sheraton portfolio. Sheraton is a brand which has been around for many, many decades. It is extraordinarily well known around the world. Uh, and what we need to bring to it is blocking and tackling. What are the standards for the hotels? How much time do our owners have to meet those standards? If they're not going to meet those standards, they're going to leave the system. And so our focus here in New York the next couple of days is really the relaunch of Sheraton. Uh, we're making great progress. If you look at the bottom 100 hotels in the United States, and about three quarters of them we have either exited the system or more likely got on a, a path towards a property improvement plan. Plan, which will get them on strategy. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.